Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the April 2023 release hop and I have two cards to share. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Build a Booth fishing add-ons. There are gnome dies fishing add-ons. There are octagon dies Christmas add-ons. I'm using that piece there. I'm using uh, the gnome dies sign add-ons, which is the freebie. Check out the rules for that. I'm also using the... Uh, bait shop stamp set which is new and i'm using the great outdoors paper pad from cartabella doodle bugs gingham linen and i did put these together on the um, gnome dies fishing add-ons release and review along with the um on the uh, gnome dies fishing add-ons assembly video and that that one as well there we go so i'm starting out with some paper tray ink white cardstock cut at four point Two five by 11 scored at five and a half inches using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad. Um, all my die cutting was done with the Gemini machine. There we go. And everything that I use is always listed on my blog under the recipe. Okay, so now I have two A2 sized cards. And I, what I did was I cut this um, die out of the, what's it called? The Octagon Christmas add-ons. And I, what I did was I ran it through using this heavyweight vellum. And I'm going to use that uh, as, as a stencil, basically, on one of these cards. So this one will be horizontal with a side fold. And then one will be vertical. So I'm going to pull out Distress Oxide ink and Tumble Glass and in um, Broken China. And I'm just using a blending brush. And I'm going to just heavily blend these two colors in the little relief cut there. So this is a really simple way to keep cards flat and you know you get a little bit of a blend there it doesn't have to be perfect i'm just going for kind of like water a water idea so there you have that and there is the ink blended background so very simple and then on the other card um i used that paper uh cartabella's great outdoors for one of my cards during this week and this is the piece that was left over from the inside i believed it i used it on day one i used just the outline so this is the inner part of it and it's just a teal piece of paper and so you could make this card doing it this way as well you don't have to ink blend okay so now there we go that's an easier way to do it so now i have two sentiments stamped from the new stamp set bait shop onto uh, Jaded Blossom's Gnome Dyes sign add-ons, which is the freebie with $60 purchase while supplies last. Check out the rules on the site. So I cut this out of Nina Desert Storm 80-pound cardstock. I ink blended with Distress Ink and Walnut Stain around the edges of them. There we go. Layering it up with my Barely Art glue using my reverse tweezers to pick them up because these are little pieces there. And I'll have two sentiments. And I'm going to leave the the... Um, interiors of the card basically empty this time so I could use them as I'd like to use them so one will say catch you later and the other one here says there we go hooked by you I believe and there there are two little signs now that I can put on my cards now I'm going to put together this card so that big fish that's from the gnome dies um fishing add-ons assembly video so check that out and then this other piece that is from the build a booth um, fishing add-ons and you can see that in part two of my release and review for the august 2023 release and i'll put that together for you on that um, basically very simple the paper for the fish was from the great outdoors six inch pad from cartabella the little fishing fly was doodlebugs gingham linen new leaf cardstock and pure poppy cardstock from paper tray ink and then the and soft stone for the little tie part, and then reflections, um, mirror, silver mirror cardstock. Now I'm taking a Tim Holtz tool and a foam pad, and I'm just punching a couple of holes through my card. And I'm going to use a little brad. It's just a little pewter colored brad, you know, where the sign is being held. And then I'm going to slip a piece of twine, hopefully. Um, that's trendy twine in craft color. I'm not sure if 20 trendy twine is still around, but you know, it's, it's just a craft colored twine. And I'm going to slip that through the hole if I can. I end up using a little pen um, off screen to get it completely through. Oh no, this one I get through, it's the other one. So I'm just going to wrap that around. I'll cut it with a pair of scissors and then I'm going to use um, some, some score tape to stick it down on the inside of my card. 
There we go. And I'm going to wrap the other piece around the top of the card and back in. Now, a lot of people, you could you, you could leave them like this and just use tape and leave that on the inside of your card. It is a homemade card after all, but I'll show you what I do to cover it up if you're, you know, crazy like me. So there we go. Okay. So kind of fun. So that's the basic look. And I'm just going to rescore that with a Teflon bone folder. And I'm pulling out Studio Katia clear round droplets for this one. And I'll use glossy accents uh, just because it's a clear glue, dries clear and shiny, which is perfect for, you know, uh, behind these bubbles, right? So I'm just going to add a few little droplets here and add, you know, an odd number, kind of visual triangles, all that jazz, you know, to give you a neat little look. And I'm going to use my Studio Katia embellishment wand to pick them up. Oh, I realized that I didn't like the size of that droplet I put down. Sometimes you don't have control over this stuff. It's like, you know, you got to put a little tiny drip down and then I will add in my droplets now. So this is lots of fun. And like I said, you know, I'm just sort of popping in little, little droplets here and there. And they come in a bunch, I think four different sizes, which is kind of fun. And of course, they're all like kind of flipped the other way, right? There we are. And there is the one card. And then I'll show you how to fix the inside in a minute. And then the next one I'm going to do um, a little bit differently, but same idea. So I've got this little hook and this hook is from the Build-A-Booth fishing add-on set. Uh, that is Doodlebug's Gingham Linen, Recollections Silver Mirror, and then the two fish are cut out of New Leaf and Limeade Ice cardstocks from Paper Tray Ink. There we go, and the fish are from the uh, fishing add-ons for the Build-A-Booth new fishing add-ons. And then there's that sign again that I did, and that will be in the upper left. I'm going to pull out that piece of foam again and the Tim Holtz poker tool. And I'm just going to poke a couple of holes again. I'm gonna poke this one right in the, on the fold and then this one in the hole where the fishing lure is. And I'm just going to pop in that little brad. I don't really use a lot of brads nowadays. I have tons of them from back in the old days, right? We used to use them a lot more. Now, not so much, but you know, every once in a while, I like to pull them out and still use them. I've got them, right? I don't, I'm not the type of person that gets rid of my crafting supplies. Like I've got a nice little hoard that I've got working there and I use them, you know? So every once in a while, something comes up. I haven't used it in a while and I think, oh, I can use that and I do. So, you know, if you have the space, I'd suggest holding on to stuff because it always comes back. So now I am using score tape to stick those down. I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors there. There we go. I will refold that little score line. Isn't that cute? But this time I'm gonna use Studio Katia's round droplets, but I'm also using their um, hearts, their clear hearts, because I thought hooked on you. So this could be like a, like a, you know, a Valentine's Day card on the inside. This could be a happy anniversary card or an I love you card or, whatever, a birthday card for your sweetie, whatever you want to use it for. Um, so that's why I use the little hearts first. And then I'm going to use the little bubbles coming up from that. So it looks like a little, like the heart comes out as a, or the little bubble comes out as a heart at first. And then it, you know, goes up to little tiny bubbles, which is kind of fun. And there we go. So super easy and fun and pretty flat, right? So two different looks, two different ways. So now I'm pulling out photo plays um, what's it called again? Yeah, Camp Happy Bear. And what I did was I cut out little pieces of paper from this paper line, and I'm just going to cover up those little things on the inside of the card. Now, with this vertical card, I'm going to have the pattern facing you. So when you open it up, it looks like it's in the right direction, right? So it's kind of, I guess it's upside down on the inside of that card. So it'll cover up all those little things that I did on this one. I decide to cut that one down and I use a little piece of paper again to cover up what I have going on there. Now it, it adds a little decoration to the inside of the card, which is something I don't mind, but 
but also hides up all the workings in there. Now, if it doesn't bother you, just leave it. You don't have to have it covered up, right? But there you go. So kind of fun. And there is your look. So we've got the two different looks of the card both simple and easy, one with ink blending and one just with die cutting. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop, hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired. Do the do the little hop. You might win a, a stamp set of your choice. And get shopping over at the Jada Blossom store. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.